Hi, and welcome to Getting Started with Thing Groups. My name is Dave Malone, and I am an IoT Solutions Architect for AWS. In this tutorial, we will cover Thing Groups, a feature of IoT device management, which makes it easy to create groups of devices based on shared attributes or tags. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to create dynamic Thing Groups, which uses the Fleet Indexing feature. To follow along, you will need an AWS account, and fleet indexing will have to have been previously enabled. If that sounds unfamiliar, we recommend you watch the Getting Started with Fleet Indexing video first. We'll start by logging into the AWS console. Once logged in, we're going to go ahead and search for IoT Device Management. This will drop you right into the manage portion of the AWS IoT console. Once here, we're going to navigate to the thing groups portion of the menu. Then we're going to go ahead and click on create a thing group, and that will lead me to two options. I can manually create a thing group, or I can create a dynamic thing group. Dynamic thing group uses fleet indexing to dynamically organize your devices based on your device attributes such as temperature or location. With dynamic thing groups, you define the group by a query. If the device meets the criteria, it will become part of the group. If later the device no longer meets that criteria, it will be removed from group membership. I'm going to continue my demo example from the fleet indexing video and create a dynamic thing group based on the device's location. I will call it device underscore location underscore Florida. Note that you cannot have any spaces in the name of your dynamic thing group. Go ahead and click next. Now we're going to define the criteria for devices to meet uh, group membership of this thing group. Of course, in this situation, that means that the device registry attribute of location is going to be equal to Florida. Because I've already created my device shadows and attributes and have enabled fleet indexing, all I need to do now is to add my query value. In this case, I'm going to use the device's attributes in the field that I've defined called location and the value that I want to define for this particular group membership of that attribute will be Florida. Note that you can use a number of different criteria to match whether or not a thing should meet this fleet indexing query. You could also preview what things match this criteria to test it out before creating the dynamic thing group. Go ahead and click on create dynamic group. As devices that are registered or meet the criteria continue to change, either through the registry or device shadow attributes, group membership will change. Based on that, we can do things like automate jobs based on thing group membership. We could also look at the security profiles that we apply to devices, including policies based on group membership. And we can also attach resource tags for the things that belong to this thing group. To summarize, combined with the registry and fleet indexing, we can create groups and dynamically act on device state or attributes and more easily manage our fleet. 